This is exciting as fishing gets. Look at him, Joshy. Oh, wow. Just go to the left of his horse. I. The water is just green. All right. Geez, there are the thousands of them. Righto. All right, watch this. I'm Dale! Buster! Bang! about 20, 20 knots, 25 knots from the north and as we're getting out here it's getting better and better but the wind is following us so it is coming and at the moment where we are here it's not too bad there's the prom day's rigging up slip trap over there behind us it's last out old boy Long way back there, where we came from. Here's our mate Pete. He's saying something. Pretty good. Dave. Oh, that's crazy. Oh no, it's hooked in the tail. They're big ones. Hooked in the fucking tail. First cast, Dave. They didn't even want the sinking. He's hooked in the tail. First cast. They were the big ones. <laughs> they did not want that sinker. They just looked at it. They were all over that surface one. Stand up, old boy. I can't. You can't? They're right behind the boat still. I can't see anything. The stumpy one. I'm filming you. It's bloody awesome fish, weren't they? Yeah. Had the polar was on everything. There it is. <gasps> That's a that's a big fish. You got the nets at your feet. Oh. All right, hang on, mate. I'm coming. Oh, 
That's the way to catch him, it was a lot easier. Lift him up though, we've got to get his head round. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Crap! First cast! Wow! Tilly, Tilly's not cursed. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That rod just destroyed that fish. That's the one we talked about at Lofty Sail, the energy concept. That's the exact setup. Wow. Ripley water. Alright. Alright, you want to get him up in front of my reel? I'll get the reel camera going, Dave. I'll just get the reel camera out, okay? That's incredible. That's the biggest king I've ever seen in Vic. Oh my god. <laughs> you serious? Are you serious? Come and walk over and just stand up on the side for me. It's filthy. Just give it a, just give it a wipe down. Wow. Come over here, old boy. Come closer. Come heaps closer. That is huge. No, like that is really huge. Yeah. Oh, we we're going to kill. We could spin what? that tail around to me. More. Wow. Yeah, same as Adrian's. Wow. Keeping or releasing? Um, I might just keep one if you don't mind. Okay, so get the photo for you on your big cam? Oh, look, we can do it. Maybe we should just get in. Where are they? Yeah, they're going away a bit. I'll keep going towards them. They're on me. They're on me. They're on it. Come on. Oh, Oh, look at him. Oh, eat it, please. This isn't a thinker either. Where's the other one? They're going to be hard. Oh, they're so hard. Just demoralizing. And they just keep that distance away from it. They just keep moving away that little bit. Oh god, they're so taunting. They're coming this way. Oh, they're going round to the right. It's doing like big circles. Morning guys. It's uh seven o'clock in the morning been um, let down by a boat hire company I won't name them a name uh, but yeah they've basically cancelled last minute so I've uh, been on the rod since 3.30 getting the live bait so I've got about six calamari which I'm gonna one's a big one so I'm gonna strip him up um, and then the, the rest I'll uh, live you out so yeah, like I said, I'm getting, I've been let down by the boat hire company. So I'm actually going to a different location from where I am to uh, to fish. Hopefully, grab some kingfish. Pretty bummed about the boat hire. I was meant to go with a couple of mates from Instagram. So yeah, I'm just heading to the different location now and um, we'll check in when we get there. So what I usually do is just a slow retrieve just to see what's on it because the kings are a bit slow on the bite if it, the, food, the food is just dangling so I usually try and entice it a little bit by working the bait and that usually gives me a good hook up. Alright. I'm right here, right at the pier. Oh yeah. Quite, isn't it? 
Yeah. Are you ready with the net? Yeah. No, that's a king. No, no, no. No, no, no. No! No, it's on. Get it. Net, net, net. Oh. Yeah. Get it. Net, net, net. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh, that's big. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh that was right, right here when the ferry was. It's about 800. Seventy-five. Was it? Seventy-six. Yeah, seventy-two. Yeah. Nice. All right, guys. That was absolutely insane. I was waiting for the uh, the boat to pass, and this I was just there's been barely any fish around, so I was just mucking around. Had a um, a squid strip. And I was just seeing if there was any fish, and literally right here, just dangling it to see if there was anything, and boom, king hits. I was like, holy shit, got wrapped around the pylon twice because it was so close, ended up landing him. So, yeah, that was a bit wild, but so much fun. It went, uh, yeah, 72 centimeters, so I'm pretty stoked on that. Run it. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, so good little sesh on a Sunday. Now it's time to get back into work. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, until next time. Now for my next number, I'd like to return to the classics. Oh, some good fish in there. Oh, look at them. Oh. oh, some monsters in there. They're huge. Even these will get tested by kings. So even these weapons of rods. They're a nano, nano technology, extremely thin, extremely flexible, a parabolic rod, they call it. What is a parabolic rod and why is it important? When a rod bends right through the handle and bends right down under your body like that, a big curve like that, it puts less stress on your back. It's a smaller lever. Our other rods we use in Westerport, like T-curves, are very tippy and they bend in the tip for smaller fish. But believe me, when you're on a giant fish, you want the rod to fold away to put less pain on your back. And that's what a Therese is. Now, on this here, we've got the Saragosa 25,000 SW. That's a pretty big reel. Again, set up for tuna. 
I'm going to cope with 500 metre runs on this. It's got 600 metres of line on it. Um, but I've got that drag literally cranked up and I can barely turn it. So if we hook a king, we should be stopping it on this gear. We hear a lot of people saying, oh yeah, I hooked a big king and it's smoking on 80. It's okay to have 80 pound line, but if you don't have the right drag and the right rod to back it, you will get smoked. Even my 10 kilo king in shallow water, you'll get smoked. We literally just lock them up and say no. No, you're not going in the roof. So this is our casting outfit. We get them in range, we put the stick plate on them, we tweak it, twitch it, and we're on. Oh, there's a mass of them. Look at the water's yellow with them. Over here about 300 metres, just, just get a bit of speed up snores. I've got the tonics, oh, see the splashes? I've got the tonic, tonic vision off, tonic polarized, I can see everything. I've got the uraniums on, I believe. I have. Oh, have a look at the bust ups. All right, we've got Josh up on the roof of the crusher. You ready, Pawsey? Just keep going that angle. This is exciting as fishy gets. Look at him, Joshy. Oh, wow. Just go to the left of his paws. Oh, the water is just green. All right. Jeez, there are thousands of them. Right, oh, no. Right, watch this. I'm watching. Pawsey, keep going left. They're going left, so you keep going left. Don't stall the boat now. Oh, no, this is how it works. Bang, wing is on a big cast. I'm into them. Right into them, good cast wing. Yep, they're on it. Yep. You're on. Come on. He's on. Good one. Oh, Okay. Careful. Oh, dude, this is... Just stay with them, stay on them. Watch them, Joshy. I'm watching all these fish. Look at that, everyone! This is you, Fish TV! Oh, wow! Dude, I want to get an Academy Award for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never seen this. Like, look at it. Look at it. Oh, they're just everywhere. Come on, Rocky. Good job, Wing. Stick base, mate. Hey, have you got your big live in, Dave? Oh, he's sitting there all the time. <laughs> Oh, mate. Oh, this one grabs it. He's not a bad fish. He's not a bad fish. Mate, they're, they're a good average here. They're big. Look at that. Everyone. Oh. Look at that fish. Oh, lady back, lady back. Oh. You gotta put him in head first, old boy. Yeah, I'm trying to. That's good, his body. Head first. There he's upset. <laughs> I think he just woke up, boys. Well, he's gone right up under the boat. You'll be right. You got good. Ah! Look at him. I right, put him in the net. This one, head first. Try to get him. Go, stop head. Oh, that's a nice fish. Fish. Can't even take drag off the scaragos. <laughs> top bait, top water, boys. That's where it's at. Okay, we've had him on the floor for a few minutes, but uh, that's not bad on top water. Unreal, mate. Not bad, eh? Good job. Look at the girth of the Victorian King. It's massively fat. Yeah. They're not long, they're just hugely heavy. I'm telling you right now, that's 11 kilos of King right there. Big tail wrist on them. Yeah. Big tail. Ooh. And you, you dropped one before that was... Smoked me. Smoked you. And this yeah. didn't even pull drag. You got poodled, Benny, as well. That's, that's good weight. That's a very good fish. That's got to be 11 kilos. All right. In the, in, in the fillet box, boys. Pretty big. Wow, he's big. He's got no tail. Can you just gap him? He's got no tail. Grab the leader. Quick. Um. 
Okay, so we've got the run out tide. We only got those two little fish on the top of the run in, even though we've sounded up big fish. Conditions aren't favourable. A few mates around the bay, no one's caught a single snapper today, so it's hard work, peak season. And we've got the run out coming into sunset. We're talking half an hour till that hits the horizon and then darkness. And we're gonna have about three hours of run out after dark. This spot, it's called the, <laughs> it's called the Winger. Just, that's because what we named it 10 years ago this week. Back when we first, first bought Think Big, 2008. We brought it up here, but I remember that day, we, we, it was an easterly like this. It was a run out tide, it was a clear sunny day. It was the third week of October. And um, we hadn't really caught a big snapper, or any snapper, I think on Think Big at the time, which is our charter boat, which is still running out, ran out here today. Skipper by Sean Ferdier. But <clears throat> on that day, we sounded for five hours, we could not find a fish, and we finally, right up here near Yuringa, off Eagle Rock here, we, we, we sanded up some big fish in that channel just where we were before when we set up and then we moved over to the side because that's what we used to do we get on the edge of the channel and look for bigger fish and we got this one big mark and we set the anchor we cast a squid squid out and i kid you not the very first set of rods the very first snapper that went in think big was 8.45 kilos right here 10 years ago this week so that's how long since i've been here and we're back giving it a crack hoping that the, all the conditions are matching and the snapper remember to be here so far nothing but we we sounded up a monster arch as we came in here so i'm not sure that it's a matter of no snapper it's just a matter of no biting or eating or feeding going on so we sit we wait Yes, mate. No, you go for it, mate. Yeah. Oh, Dom. <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. Oh, Dom. Hold on. Squid? <laughs> I have to get the net ready, mate. <clears throat> the bottom, is the bottom of the net okay? It looks a bit fright. It is a bit dodgy, but we've patched it up. Right, so it's okay. It's, okay. it's coming towards you. That's good. It's a good fish. Is it? Took some lime, mate. Oh, yeah. well, that's exciting. Oh my god. 10 year anniversary. You can see before when I pointed to the sun guys, that's how much the sun's dropped. It's only been 10, 15 minutes since we had that last chat. We're a good hour into the run out now. And I hope that sunset would work for us. We'll know if it's big when it gets close to the boat, if it does downward dives, if it belts down, you know what I mean? because it's swimming up and it's not shaking its head, which is a good sign. It's just cruising up, isn't it? Yep. Oh, this rod's getting a bit of a touch. I hope it's not that fish. Over. Really? Yep. Over. Oh, you have to, oh, you have to bring, bring the rod, that's it. Beautiful. I think we're out. Beautiful. Good, we're, we're not here to catch small snapper. We're in Western Port chasing big fish. That's what we want. We want eights, nines, tens, elevens. That's what we want. And in this part of the world, Pink snapper grow to immense sizes. Legendary fish in this area, 12 kilos, 11 kilos, 10 kilos. I don't think this is that, but it's certainly got a bit of weight. It's definitely got some cruising weight, isn't it? This is where you want to see a few surges. Yeah. They don't like coming up and they'll surge back down. Reasonable. Oh, Whoa. shit. Bring it up, boy. Walk, walk forward. Yep. Dom, nice. 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 That's nice. a good fish, mate. 
That's a good fish. That is quality. So we came here. Nice fish, Dom. It's cracking. Oh, well, they have got a memory. Nice fat tail wrist on him. Look at that. Wow, get him up and get some sunlight on him. I'll get some video. Oh, Dom. Bring the tail around a bit, buddy. Wow. All oh, right, we have to put it down. There's a boat coming. Put it down quick. Bang! That feels so good. That feels so good. Squid ring, right on sunset. This is a this is just unreal. Look, I know he won't catch a lot of snapper these days. It still feels special though. It's the first trip, and that's a quality fish. It's over six kilos. <laughs> that's, that's heavy fish. Wow. All right. When that boat. Let's get the hook out, mate. Here we go. You letting go, mate? All right, would you want to get um, do it? Want to get away on him? Or? Oh, haven't got time. He's been in the water at yeah. sunset. I haven't got time to muck around. Yep. Look, we're just going to call him a good six. Yep. Um, what we'll do is we'll get that bait back out because the sun, mate, yep. is on the water and this is it. We haven't got time to stuff around. Yep. So there just, he's ready to go. He's only come up from shallow yep. water, so come over. Sorry. Yep, that'll do. Just spear him in, mate. New people, new adventures new format um, and we're taking our great fishing here in Melbourne and, and, and around Australia to the world as big as we can all right check it out see you soon you fish TV is proudly brought to you by fighttackle.com.au Gamakatsu hooks by Frogleys Offshore, Tonic Polarised Eyewear, Mercury Marine Australia and Immersion Apparel.